Hi, and welcome to another video from Gravity.io, this time talking about authentication flows. In particular, it's the OAuth flow with Google IDP, and we're going to introduce access management as well. So let's head over, first of all, to access management. And you can see the portal here. Let's add a new domain for this demo. Let's call it the auth domain. There we go. Give it a description. Perfect. We're going to enable the domain here. Okay, now we're going to head over to settings. And what we're going to do is add a new provider. So we're going to add Google as the provider on this example. So let's add Google next. And now what we have to actually do is go to um, Google. And this is the Google Cloud Platform um, APIs and Services Credentials page. And from there, you can actually create some credentials. And I'm going to put in the credentials that I've got from there. If you've got any um, questions about where to go to, you can actually go to, it's actually this page here, to the Google Cloud. This is what the page looks like. And you can see that I've created an OAuth 2 client ID. And if you scroll down, you've got the, um, the, the client ID with the um, client secret as well. Now we're going to change this in a second, but when you actually um, create your flow, when you actually create your um, um, application, the Google ID, you'll actually get a callback URL. This has been put in already, but this is what you have to come back and add to complete the step. And we can come back to that in a second. Okay, so now let's, um, we put in our client ID and secret, which is cool. So now I'll do create. Okay, and that's created our um, um, provider, Google Auth provider. Okay, so now let's um, go over to applications. And we're going to create an application for this particular um, Google Auth. So now we're going to do web. Next, we're going to do uh, domain is auth domain. Let's just call it Google Auth again. Let's give it a description. This is the test. Let's give it a redirect URL. You can go anywhere here. I'm just going to go to the bbc.co.uk. I'm going to give it a client um, ID and secret. Now you can actually call this anything you want, but you know, like give it a give it a name that you're going to remember or you know give it um, a client ID and secret that you've generated I'm just going to use Google Auth for this example then do create and that's created now so now what we've done is we've um, linked to link this application by going to identity providers to that particular IDP so this IDP just by enabling that Google IDP is now linked to the client ID and secret, basically at the account that we've enabled in Google. So now if we just have a quick look through the tabs, you can see an overview tab here. You can actually see um, the endpoints. Now this, this is actually um, useful here. You can see all the endpoints that you can get to get hold of your token, uh, authorize your token, introspect your token. These are the IDPs that are available. We've got MongoDB. We've got design where you can actually add different um, types of authentication and settings. That's what the settings that we had uh, when we um, created the application in the first place. To the overview page, go to the initiate the login flow section, copy the URL, open up a incognito window paste in the URL and it will come up with a page which allows you to authenticate via Google. So let's do that. I'm just going to put in my email address there. Next, put in my password. Okay, cool. Okay, it's going to ask me to authenticate. Okay, that's done. That two-step verification's done. 
and then it's going to take me to the home page that I re redirected to and it's gone to the BBC home page there. So that login flow is now working. So that's good. We've configured Access Manager to essentially uh, allow us to test our login flow. So that's working from the Access Manager side. OK, so now we're going to head over to API Manager and create an API to essentially use that OAuth flow. OK, so now what we're going to do is um, head over to API Manager. Let's create an API. Let's use the Design Studio. Let's call it um, Google Auth. Um, let's give it a version, a description, a context path. Let's just do um, forward slash Google. There we go. Next, um, give it a back end. Let's just use the time test API. Um, let's give it a simple plan. Oh, actually, let's not give it a plan just now. We're going to create the plan in a second. OK, so now let's um, before we create our plan, let's head over to design and create the resource that we're going to use. So we go to design tab, go to resources and you can see that you can pick the Gravity AM authorization server and that's what we're going to use. So the resource name, let's call it um, um, Google resource. Let's give it a server URL. And this is from the, um, let's head back to here. The server URL is that portion of the URL there. Let's head over to there. The version um, is a free X version. The security domain, well, that was what we configured here. That's called auth domain. Pick that there. And the client ID and secret, let's head back over here and check. So settings, you can see that we called it Google Auth. I'm pretty sure my secret was exactly the same. And that's it. We've created our resource now and we've linked it to Access Manager. Let's save and deploy. OK, so now we've created our resource. We're going to create a plan to essentially use that resource. So head over to plans. Let's start a plan. Let's call it Google Auth. Let's give it a description. Let's do next. Let's security type. Let's pick OAuth. Let's pick our resource name, which is Google Resource. Um, you don't need to add a cache resource. I think that's good. The rest of it. Let's do next. Let's not add any um, policies for now. OK, so now Let's do next and you can see that that's in staging. So let's publish that plan and let's deploy our API. That's perfect. So now we've got an API and we've got a plan. Now what we need to do is have a application to use that plan. So let's head over to uh, applications and let's create an application. So let's go to our developer portal. Let's create an application. Let's call it Google app. This is a test app. Let's do next. Let's just do web there. I think it was the access management was called the client ID was called Google Auth. Let's do next. Um, let's look for our API. There we go, Google Auth. Let's subscribe. Let's do next. OK, let's create the application now. Bingo. So we've created our application. If we head over to API Management and look at subscriptions, we should have a new subscription here. That's pending. Let's accept that. OK, so now we've accepted our subscription. We've created our application. Now let's head over to Postman to test our API. OK, so now let's just make sure that we've got the endpoint correctly. It's called Google Auth. So now let's head over to Postman. And you can see that we've got our gateway and Google Auth. OK, so at the moment it's not being configured. So you can see that you've got an invalid access token. So you can actually see here. So if you head over to authorization, the type that you pick is OAuth2. If you scroll down, 
and then you can see we've got a callback URL dot off URL that's not quite right I think it was called off domain let's just check that while we're there so if you go to here you can see our domain is called off domain so let's just um, configure that correctly off domain and this one again off domain okay so you've configured your off URL and your access token URL you can actually get those directly can you see authorized there and also token here you can actually retrieve both of them from authorize and token endpoint so you can actually see them in access management <clears throat> okay so now the client ID and the client secret we know the callback URL is just taken kind of a, a dummy site and that's it so first of all what we need to do is get the access token okay we're going to use Google auth to get the access token okay and because we authenticated already um, it's kind of not asked us to log in this time again so it's going to use this token so it's put that token into the token section and now if we send to that API you can see that the timestamp now appears so now what's actually happened is that we've authenticated on that API if we just change this to a different token just put a little one in front you can see that it, it fails and now we've used that token and we've authenticated using Google Auth so quite a few steps but still very straightforward and we completed that within about 15 minutes thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video.